decided to do a 30 day challenge for myself. And every day I'm gonna be posting a video. It's been in my heart for a really long time, this idea that school uh, and the education system doesn't really teach us the things that we really need to live a successful life. There is this life outside of work that I always felt that I was lacking knowledge in. And so basically, I've set to myself this challenge to every day for 30 days, every day choosing one topic that I wish that I had learnt when I was a kid. So I hope you enjoy it. Have an amazing day. Alrighty, so this is day two and we are going to talk about the second piece of advice I would give to my childhood self. You have to find ways to be grateful in this life, no matter what cards are dealt to you. I grew up thinking that I had a pretty bad, so I'm just, I'm just emptying my hair of water. Um, I grew up thinking I had a pretty bad run and it wasn't, you, you know what, like I look back on it and I had a pretty phenomenal childhood. Like I was very lucky and the things that didn't go so well were just a part of my experience that I had to have to become the kind of person that I am. I think a lot of people, um, especially in like a Western society, we are striving, we're strivers. We, we seek and we go out and we try to conquer and battle and achieve, achieve, achieve. And I think it almost takes away from this ability to really enjoy what you do have and not saying you shouldn't strive for more. I absolutely am very growth centered. Uh, every part of my life, I'm always critiquing and analyzing and wanting to grow. But there is something really special in being able to look at where you are right now and appreciate it for what it is. If you're always searching for the future of, I'll be, I'll be happy when. When I get that car, I'll be happy. When I get that partner, I'll be happy. When I get a new plant, because my one is looking really sad in the corner here. But it's beautiful. My plant right now is beautiful. I love it. The leaves that are alive, I, I love. So yeah, you can always be striving and getting more and seeking and seeking and seeking, but if you're never truly appreciating where you are, no matter how high you climb, if you've not cultivated a practice of being grateful for where you're at, it'll never be enough. There'll never be a point where you're like, oh, now with my $2 million home and my all of my cars, I'm super happy. I would love $2 million and a lot of cars, but in order for me to be grateful for that, I have to be grateful for my no car and my not $2 million house. It doesn't matter where you are, just how do you appreciate where you are today? I personally have a journaling method that I use every day. I have a little book and it's, it's uh, just a plain notebook and I just write 15 things I'm happy for. So I start my day, I wake up and I remind myself of five things that I was grateful for yesterday. It's the five things that I really just loved. And it could be really small, tiny little things that just make your heart fuzzy and warm. Like I have like my favorite jumper that I love to wear. So I'm just like, oh, I got to snuggle up cozy in my jumper before I went to bed or I got a message from a friend or I went for dinner with a friend, which I actually did last night and it was really nice. And um, I love you, you know who you are. <sighs> if you're watching, if you're not watching, I love you anyway. Um, yeah, so just these, these really day, like not mundane, but kind of mundane. Like I think that's what a lot of people strike it down to. It's like, oh, it's just an everyday thing. It's just part of my daily routine. and. It becomes, you, can, you become complacent with the pure joy of that event because it's so regular. So five in the morning and then sometime during the day, probably toward the end of the day or sometimes on my lunch break, I will sit down and write another 10 that happened during the day. And basically what that is training me to do is miss negative 
Nelly? Is it negative Nelly? Yeah, that's a phrase, I think. Uh, my default is negative. My default is see the glass half empty. In fact, it is hardly got any water in it. You're gonna die of thirst. And I'm trying to retrain my brain to look for, look for the positive, to seek out, um, yeah, seek out good. And in terms of kids, how can we introduce this to kids? I actually have this, I've seen, I've never actually done it with kids. I really want to, but it's this, it's called a gratitude tree. It's really cool. So basically you get a tree or you can like decorate a tree on a wall and uh, you can cut out leaves, like paper leaves. And you could like, you could do that or you could do a printout and just cut them out. And that can be a fun activity too and get them to color it and decorate it. And then uh, depending on their age, of course, this is, I'm, I work with younger kids right now. So I'm just thinking, okay, they decorate all right. And just getting them trained in the habit of every morning, like you could make a big pile of leaves and on every leaf write something different to be grateful for and so every morning they could come in and choose a leaf and put it on the tree and say today i'm grateful for this um today i'm grateful for um my breakfast today i'm grateful for um my bed uh, today i'm grateful for the electricity in my house, age dependent, of course, because the two year olds have no idea what that even means. Another really good idea, I think for older kids that I had a, just lots of water happening in my hair right now. A great thing for older kids, or you know what, even adults, if you are really into taking photos, um, I read on, I think it was on Pinterest, was somewhere in the amount of information available to the, the human experience this day and age. You take photos, this on your camera reel, of um, little moments that to remind you so you can take pictures through the day. Just It's really easy. You've all, everyone always has a phone on them. And so you just, every time you're like, hmm, that makes me happy. That makes me smile. That makes me feel really good. I am really grateful that that thing is in my life. And you just pull out your phone and you take a snapshot of it. And then at the end of the day, you can sit back and like recollect what happened in your day. And it's just gearing you to look for the positive, to remember what you are grateful for, remembering what is happening in your life. And basically I just, a lot of people are like, oh, it's, there's woohoo and there's this and there's that. And I just kind of reached a point. I'm like, if it makes my day better, why would I not do it? So yeah, that's my first piece of advice. My, no, it's not. It's my second. I am tired and I'm grateful for the fact that I had five hours of sleep last night because I could have had none. So today I'm going to start us off with my, my five things that I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for my morning coffee that I'm going to go make now. It hasn't even happened yet, but I'm so grateful for it. I know it's going to be good. I am grateful for my friends and my family who just are always supportive of things like this, my crazy video that I'm posting. And um, I'm really grateful for the fact that I live near the ocean. I get to, when I leave my house this morning, I get to go walk down by the sea and I get to see the waves and it's just so beautiful. And just, I love being connected to nature. I am grateful for my peace flags. I think you can kind of see them up there. And I am grateful for technology. I mean, I'm, I'm not, but I am. <laughs> On the flip side, oh my God, do you see what I'm doing here? Anyway, I'm grateful for technology. I am grateful <laughs> because it's allowing me to sit here with you today, record this video, in a million segments because it keeps being interrupted. And, <laughs> oh my goodness, I need to go do 50 things of gratitude today. This headspace girl. Okay, anyway, maybe I'm gonna do 50 today. Just don't, don't even cap yourself. Go do something um, that you're grateful for and write it down, record it, take a video of it, share it. And, um, oh, 
you know what, this is what I'm going to finish with. I'm, I'm actually going to link you to, it's, you've probably already seen it because it's amazing, but there's this video created by, I think it was a church, but it doesn't really matter, but it was created by these people and it's this guy and he, he wakes up in his bed and he's all wrapped up in wrapping paper and he's like, oh, Christine, I love you. <laughs> so he races over to the, the light. He's like, oh, we have power. We have power. We can do whatever we want. We can turn it on and off. And then he jumps in the shower. He's like, I know what that's for. <laughs> and just like, everything is so much stoked. He like runs over and gets his like, food. He's like, food? We have food? He was like, it's briefcase. I get to go to work. And he has kids and he's just so, and he's like, I have a car. I have a car. And it was just, oh, it was just the best. I'm actually going to watch it after this because that's what I need to just reset my head into positive, amazing, excited about everything in life kind of mode. And that's the kind of stoke that we need to be having. That's the kind of gratitude we need to be having all year, not just at Christmas. Um, but yeah, so that, that link I will put somewhere in with this video, hopefully. So yeah. Anyway. Oh yeah, even just like talking about that totally just shifted me. Mm. Feels good. Okay. <laughs> I am so grateful for connecting with you guys today. And um, if you have any more ideas about ideas that you do, if you actually have a gratitude practice, practice I would love to hear about what you do. And if you share this with kids already, I would, I would really love to hear what that looks like. Uh, if you have any craft ideas or different ways that you integrate it into life with the kid kiddies so that we can all share the knowledge and benefit from the collective knowledge out there. Okay, have an amazing day, amazing human.